Hey loves, you welcome back to my channel. If you are here for the first time, I welcome you specially. Today, I'm going to show you the simplest way of making yogurt. I'm going to use two types of cave culture. I made this yogurt with a live culture that I made from scratch. You can check my channel for that, for the video. And then this is a yogurt that I made from my previous batch of yogurt that I started with store-bought yogurt. That is the yogurt I used in making this. I bought yogurt from the store, made my yogurt and kept some aside to use as culture in here i have 1.5 liters of milk i'm going to heat this milk up now now when it's i heat it up i'll allow it to cool down to about 44 degrees celsius before adding the starter culture i'm heating up the milk now to keep stirring the milk you don't want it to burn we'll just heat it up until bubbles start forming on the side or maybe a a light boil but not too hot just we are just heating up heating it up to about 85 degrees celsius if you don't have a food thermometer you can just make sure you Allow it to heat up until you see bubbles starting to form like it's boiling. Then cool it down to till it's warm to the touch. You wash your hand, keep your finger in it. If you can hold your finger in the milk comfortably for about 8 to 10 seconds, then you can use it. But here today, I'm going to use a food thermometer. So let me just allow the milk to heat up to the right temperature. You can see that the milk is having light bubbles, like it's about to start boiling. So let me just use my thermometer to check the temperature. I'm turning off the heat now because the milk is even is boiling. But I just want you to see at what temperature this happens. This is even beyond the temperature I was looking for. Now I'm going to allow this to cool down to about 44 degrees Celsius. While this cools down, you want to keep stirring it. I like doing this because I don't want that skin that forms on top of milk if left unstirred. I don't want it to form because you will want to take it off and that's part of the nutrients of the milk you are taking off so i'll just keep stirring this if, if you want to speed up the process you can use ice bath put ice in water place the pot in it and start stirring i'm going to speed up the process by placing the pot of oat you got in an ice bath keep stirring I have taken the milk off of the ice bath. So let's check the temperature now. I checked it without the thermometer. It is warm to the touch. I want to I want to check it with the thermometer so that you can see it and get it right when you are making your own yogurt. This is 42.6 degrees Celsius which is just okay the life culture i made from scratch i'm going to put milk here and use this and then the remaining i'll use yogurt i bought from the store and i made a yogurt 
and then the batch I left from my previous yogurt, I'm going to use it for the rest of the meal. I'll put the rest here. You got that I kept from my last batch. Just one spoon. Starter culture from scratch. Check my video for it. I'll use just one. I'm going to wrap this up in this cloth, keeping my warmer to retain this temperature for the incubation period. Six to eight hours. Undisturbed. You can leave it for longer if you want it more tangy. This is eight hours later. I incubated the yogurt for eight hours. is the one I made with my previous batch of yogurt. It's really formed very well. And this is the one I made with the starter culture I made from scratch, from lime. I used lime. Cut it. So I'm going to have a taste now. Hmm. Tastes good. Stangy. Mm. This tastes very good as well. It's stangy, milder than this one. But they both taste good. The thing now is, it is left to you to decide if you want to make your starter from scratch. The starter culture I used here, I made it from scratch. From milk and lime. Store bought yogurt. I made yogurt from it. Kept a little yogurt and I made this batch from it. This one, the probiotic in it from the container that the store bought yogurt came in says live culture, lactobacillus acidophilus. This I made from lime. I don't know the kind of bacteria it has. There you have it. The choice is yours. If you want to keep using store bought yogurt to make your yogurt or you want to make it from lime. I learned you can also make from lemon or chili. Chili pepper with the stalk intact. Maybe I'm going to make a video on that. Very thick. So I'm going to whisk it and make sure it is smooth. Once I put it in the refrigerator, it will get thicker. It is equally very thick. Made from scratch starter culture that i made from scratch so there you have it you got two ways made from two different starter cultures thank you so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so Turn on notifications so that you get to know whenever I upload a new video. I'll see you in my next video. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye. I love you all.